who you I am. So on. if I need to talk to Are somebody we, here, it's ready to roll. Welcome back. Oh. So they can like if you Welcome just start talking. Okay, you know, I guess we're starting. Oh, so we're from here. walking down into like which town, is weird, town's a half mile away. away. Yes, yes. Uh, so the sky, uh, which I use. You're gonna be able to make the town. No problem. Just look like somebody that will be there. So here we go. The old Spalich. Like Slavic. fucking crazy name of the road. Probably Slavic, and they just spelled it wrong. Saying Slavic it. road <laughs> meanders into a valley, just watched like over Slavic by dark, people, brooding yeah, mountains into the north, or to the north and south. This is the lucky, right? This is the yeah, this is the lucky north. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. The woods recede, revealing a sullen mountain berg surrounded by a wooden palisade. Thick fog presses up against the wall as though looking for a way inside, hoping to catch the town slumber. A dirt road ends at a set of sturdy iron gates with a pair of shadowy figures standing behind them. Planted in the ground and flanking the road outside the gates are a half dozen pikes with wolves' heads impaled upon them. Hmm. Okay, they don't like old wolves. I'm guessing that you're going to de wolf. So are I you mean, going to town? I'm gonna. Is it Druid? Yeah, yeah, you probably yeah, should. Down. Are you offended? Yeah, I'm gonna calm down. <laughs> I, I mean, I was like pissed at Nagri, but I don't need to be that way in uh, town. Oh, he got, he got. Yeah. Some pretty crazy shit happened to him. Um, yeah. Anyway, yeah, I'm, he, I'm not Wolfie. He, he was almost erased from existence. Because I really just want to go in this town and, and rest. Um, yeah. Please. So what? what so I'll, 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 so I'll come up and talk to the guards before everyone uh, else gets Velaki, there. is Velaki on this map? Yeah, it's right here. This is um, move yeah. move the old old camera over there. Please. To the this, this is the oh, actually, I want to go up with you with my hat of disguise, but I can't talk. I just won't, won't say anything. <laughs> okay. Right there. Okay. Um, a 15 foot oh, high wall encloses like the town. Slave, so. Its vertical <laughs> logs held together with thick ropes and mortar. Uh, the top of each log has been sharpened to a point. Wooden scaffolding hugs the inside of the palisade, 12 feet off the ground, enabling essentially chest-high walls around the palisade. Uh, well, not chest-high, but you know, like three, three feet, so some cover. Three tall gates made of iron bars lead into town. Um, if you wanted, now, of course, you would only really know that there would be the north gate, or rather the uh, southern gate. The we're coming from this way. The east gate. The east yeah. gate. Yeah. So, I mean, I would know where the other gates are, but... Yeah. yeah. The East Gate is also known as the Morning Gate, or as some locals like to call it, the Morning Gate with a U. As in, like... Morning. morning. Sadness yeah. gate. Sad gate. <laughs> Sadness comes from this way. <laughs> uh, two... Uh, okay, so he heavy iron chains with iron padlocks keep the gate shut at night. It is... Not night. Almost night. It is not. Uh, during the day, they're closed, but they're not typically locked. Two town guards, uh, there's a uh, male and female humans, of course, stand Say, just inside each gate. They all know me as Boris here, so just call me Boris. Instead of spears, <laughs> they carry pikes. Of course. Uh, With silver. They're enough to stab creatures through the bars of the gate. Well, that's not hugely relevant, but... Uh, <laughs> it might be. Un unless you guys, you know, Piss them off or whatever, not that you guys can fucking wreck anything in this town. <laughs> uh, okay. Sounds so like it's a good place to riot. Yeah, so uh, first I'm gonna, thing I'll say as soon as they're in range is hail. Do I recognize any of them? Uh, uh, three days of grace song goes. Sure. Because yeah. yeah. you, you've been around a long time. Yeah, I was going to say, I've been around. Like, uh, hey, uh, we're going to come take a nap. What What is the guy's name? Uh, Captain Pistaker. <laughs> <laughs> it's settled. I'm giving you some creative freedom. Here. Yeah, I. Yeah, I that's, that's a I good mean, one. That's Piz Aker. Yeah, Piz Aker. Piz Aker. Staker. P I Staker. Piz Staker. Yeah. <laughs> Peter Peter Ian Staker. There you go. That's it. Peter Staker. <laughs> and. <laughs> Piotr. And it's Mrs. Bullhog. Okay. Change that, but <laughs> all right. <laughs> the um, this is Bullion. The guy's name is Pietro. Pietro. And the lady's name is Claudia. I like Claudia. 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 
Claudia, it's time for a nap. Maybe we come in. First thing I would say since I recognize them. Yeah, and you guys look really fine. Yeah, fucked yeah, up. yeah. Except for me, I look Except fine. Except for some of you, I look completely fine. Yeah. yeah, I'm up there all bloody and shit. Yeah. I am not okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, There's a giant bear the walking way. around with us. You know, it's like. Why, uh. Torel. Yeah. Uh, it's been a long time. Has it? Hello, um, Claudia. Hey Claudia. Hey, Boris. 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 Hey, hey, hey Claudia. I'm invincible. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Golden Eye, I love you. Eisensmith <laughs> really gonna say hey Claudia at that point. <laughs> and and, and wait. Who are your friends? Oh, we they, find them on the road. They just got here. They just arrived in Borovia. They're uh, oh. they're they're pretty good though. They had adventure. I want to help. They are with you. Yes. yes. Okay. Very well. Pietro. And they, they pull the, they pull the gates open. The bar you arrived just in time. We're about to lock the gates. All right. Well, uh, <laughs> good thing there's nothing here to try and find <laughs> his way in the gate. That is why. Cool. Yes. <coughs> We're going to toss some race. silver to Claudia and Pietro. Thank you for leaving Toro. How much? <laughs> silver PC. Three? Silver PC. Two. Okay. I'm I'm gonna stop and ask where the bar is because I need have a drink. to ask where the I bar need, is. I need a drink, guys. Well, Look, come on. Even though you, you got one on your hip, and it was like this way. Actually, I already know where the bar is. Because so I don't I, know all I say is this way. Down, so Just something about buying a drink. Okay, cool. Yeah. Peace. Yeah. Fair enough. They they because which only buy drink. which bars do I know are in town? <laughs> no, I want to ask the guards. I want to well, invite um, them to come with me. Give me a fucking second. Sorry. God damn it. Hold up. I am new to Velaki. Yes. I have to figure this shit out. It's all labeled. Yeah, but, but you're Pietro uh, and Claudia. How do you not know <laughs> where the bar is? You're not new. They're oh, inspecting their gold I coins. Spent... I just threw them gold count coins. <laughs> Keep sassing me. Keep sassing me. Okay, so N2 is one. N3. So we, we have good time. Is the Burgomaster's Mansion. Don't want to deal with That's that. so good. Yet. I'm sure it will come into play at some point. Uh, Number four. Watcher House. Watcher House? Is that an inn? What is that? No, it's an actual house. <laughs> for the for the Watcher House. It is a water. house. Made of water. <laughs> Made of water. <laughs> uh, lordy, lordy, lordy. Okay, okay. So we know it's a stockyard. Coffin maker shop. Probably don't want to go there. If they have alcohol for sale. I don't think the maggot. coffin maker would have alcohol. Sounds He's great. making coffins. He, <laughs> might as, he might as well be drinking all the time. Be, He's at the wall. be a pretty okay. good joint uh, business. Our right only there. inn <laughs> is the Blue Water Inn. Let's be, let's be real. No. Just follow no, the main road. Call. No. And it's in, no, it's right in the middle of the drinks. <laughs> and I was or like, max this way. Of drinks. You just and keep going. Start walking. You, you all follow. Yeah, so we're going to the inn, which is the bar. It is north of Blinsky Toys. People drinking in the morning. Which is a toy <laughs> shop. <laughs> creepy. Drowning. We're gonna find whoever hired yeah. drowning the stars at the bottom of the shit. glass. That's yeah. in the morning. Before we, before we they go like to the bar, I'm gonna split off and yeah. find whoever hired me to find those kids. And whatever happened to the kid? Oh, There's the kids <laughs> with us. Fair point. Because it was with us. We're gonna say the kid is with you. Mm -hmm. He was hiding in the trees. He is, I believe. Still pretty doped up on Dream Pie. And his video. So we just laid him on the ground. He's been kind of behind us. So he did not, he obviously was not in any anywhere near the combat. Oh. And he successfully hid the whole time. Uh, so he is, like, he's still all. Yep. Doped up. It was, was like, sit oh, down, don't we had move. A kid during combat, walked away. <laughs> been a whole and, new dimension. Uh, actually, both kids. <sighs> okay. Because there's two, because you saved the one from the cart and then you yeah. saved the one from the box. And from Nagri. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, you little bastard. It's actually as far away from Nagri as possible. Uh, See, I'm going to find whoever place. hired me to find these kids and go collect my bounty. Okay, so you and the kids go off. I'm going to hang out with the kids then. I may have to walk now, but I would, I would have explained you, to him you, where the uh, inn or bar will, is. We will all meet you at the inn. Yeah. And I'll tell him where all it's right. at. Cause Good. Is that is that the yeah. happen happen so, place of town? That is this. Let's, let's okay. go to it's a, the only inn. Yeah. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. I'll be at the end. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Uh, so we're going to you want to do the excellent bounty collection first, and then yeah, okay. The so um, right there. you go to please tell me it's the toy store because <laughs> that's just creepy as hell. Yes. <laughs> I kind of want to go perform the, uh... That's their specialty <laughs> in Milwaukee. The old doll they make toys. toys. No, the, uh, Grim toy making. Psychometry. Where I can concentrate on something and see all the evil in his past. Grim Psychometry, that sounds like a great end name. Uh, that is... You're there. gonna, like, like... Just it, you're sit, gonna sit down at the front door, like, right outside the front door, and do focus some, on the do some, toy like, shop. Like, okay. So, um... Let me read it You all quick. actually get to the end. Yeah, yeah that's and all then I can most of you go into the inn, and then Terrell, Vlad, and the kids kind of branch off and go down this little side road that leads to Blinsky Toys. Um, Blinsky and I'll, Toys. I'll, I'll, I'll read it here. Okay, so <laughs> this cramped shop has a dark entrance portico, above which hangs a wooden sign shaped like a rocking horse, with a B engraved on both sides. Flanking the entrance are two arched lead framed windows. Everybody's so fucked up. Uh, through, <laughs> through, through the dirty glass, you see jumbled displays of toys and hanging placards bearing the slogan, Is no fun, is no Blinsky. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I was in the right place. Yes. Uh, okay. So, is that the description? That's the description. Uh, Grim Psychometry, I sit down and meditate for ten minutes on something, and I can uh, discern vague details regarding... Any lingering evil or wicked past surrounding it. Okay. As long as you're not uh, I make on a me. wisdom ability check, and these are no effect uh, on things untouched by evil. Okay. This place is actually not in any way evil. In fact, it's the, just fucking creepy. The toy maker is chaotic good. Yep. To give, to give, it is in no way a evil. Bit of like perspective. Yeah. And I, uh, I, I tell him. Not evil place. Now you 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 know this guy. His name is mm. Gadolf Blinsky. Oh yeah. G A D O F. Uh, Blinsky. B L I N. Spelled like the food. B L I N S K Y. So I guess. Oh, so not spelled like the food. No. And he has a pet monkey named Piccolo. Oh Jesus. <laughs> This dude is just getting creepier and creepier. He looks. He looks like he goes Michael Jackson. Cool. Oh, he's a big fat Russian guy. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So fucking rabbits. All right. Yeah. You want me? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna open. I'm gonna right open up the door and. Uh, it is unlocked, and he and he. You what, can see uh, him the wolf at hell open the like how he knows main there. counter tinkering with a uh, miniature gallows. Jesus, <laughs> which, which, town. which which is uh, complete with a trap door and a weighted uh, hanged man. Uh, <laughs> He's chaotic. This fucking town. It's just a little toy, you know. Yeah. He's, he's th there were several like behind the, the counter. As well, like he's, he's, he's this is his biggest seller. He's not being screwed. <laughs> it's not the biggest seller, but it is it is one of the things he has. So when you walk in, what is the get seller? off. Um, this is a fucking creepy ass place. So some of the toys that you can see <laughs> here, good. there's a headless doll. It comes with a sack of attachable Ooh. heads. Okay. Including one with its eyes yeah. and mouth stitched shut. Uh, there's the miniature gallows. There's a set of wooden nesting dolls. The, the smaller each one gets, the older it gets, until the innermost doll is a mummified corpse. Um, a wood and string mobile of hanging bats with flapping wings. A wind-up musical merry-go-round with figures of snarling wolves chasing children in place of prancing horses. Of course. Wow, this place is just dark. <laughs> There's a ventriloquist dummy that looks like Strahd von Zerovich. Of course. Um, and there's a doll that looks remarkably like Irina Koliana. One doll that looks like Irina Koliana. Who is that? Um, Irina Koliana, I believe that you <laughs> learned a little bit about this. You, we, you 
would both actually kind of know who she is. Yeah. Um, she is a, um, she's the daughter of one of the Burgomasters, and um, she looks very much like Strahd's original love. And so Strahd's trying to get some. Yeah. And yeah, she's super hot, <laughs> according to the doll. The yeah, doll is any indication. So uh, anyway, so I, I just I, that's besides the point. We're at the bounty collection. Get off! I bring children. Excellent. <laughs> Give them some toys so they will be happy. What possible <laughs> way could any of your toys make children happy? They're creepy as fuck. <laughs> Do not sass just... my toy. <laughs> I'm gonna give him one of the, the doll and just put the, the, the stitched up face on the. On oh the my kid. god, that's awesome. <laughs> the the, the um. The um, and now this is one that isn't on the, the crazy, the crazy dream pie. Uh, kind of like hugs it close. Yep. <laughs> you are good kid. They don't play children. Is and there <laughs> is there like a toy sword or a toy axe? No. Okay. No, it's just creepy mm -hmm. toys. Yeah, like puppets. <laughs> he, he specializes in in the creepiest shit imaginable. In puppets toys. and dolls. Toy weapons aren't really creepy at all either. Yeah. If a toy sword that's all like covered in fake blood, now that would be creepy. <laughs> <laughs> the little piece of like entrail hanging on. <laughs> so, um. Oh, yes. Was... Your, your bounty. I do appreciate it. Um, and he, he gives you uh, 100 gold. Yeah. He's, you know, he's pretty brave. Like, yeah. his toys, most of his toys cost copper or silver pieces, so, um, he, yeah, he doesn't make a lot. He's happy. I'm gonna buy the <laughs> creepy fucking doll with the, the heads for the okay. kids. Okay, um, the creepy doll, it's nine copper pieces. Wow. How much do I, I mean... That would be like one silver minus one copper, so like... I mean, I have only gold on me, I don't have any other... Oh. Um, okay. I, was, I was gonna so, give him a gold and, and buy a couple other things until I get enough to be one gold. <laughs> you can buy up all that stuff. He okay, so like his eyes go crazy big. Uh, he's a gold not, coin. Not, not crazy big. He just gave him a hundred. So like so paying him, it's like I bet you everybody would kind think. of like move. And <laughs> you I'm gonna take the gallows because <laughs> just, like, oh, just why not? not so okay. Um, grab grab some gall Just whatever equals up to one gold piece. Um, okay, oh, you could do, okay. they ha they have this doll toy, Just and like you could do the, um, the ventriloquist on me that looks like Strahd is nine silver. Oh, yeah, so I need that. I need that. That's like one, yeah. <laughs> that would be about one. That'll work in our favor later. Yes, it will. <laughs> We're gonna bring that out later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when we get to Strahd, I found you! <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey there, everybody. <laughs> A sweet intimidation that's, that's our end. That's our end. We're we're a traveling troop of performers. <laughs> we are a traveling troop of performers. Yeah. Just I play violin. Chaotic performers. <laughs> you haven't seen our song, have you? I play the the uh, nightmare. <laughs> he leads. That's what we're the doing. Two kids gets to the end into one of the back yeah, rooms, night. and then play her song. like play you look song back the there. Yeah, you can see that there's good. kind of like a little table with chairs, and he goes and kind of bustles. Nagri can uh, recite he lives his dragon haikus. Yeah, everybody. Um, and he kind of bustles over to where his kitchen is and makes him some food. Like just like that. So, right there. Right. Um, you can stay. I'm one 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 two. There's not really any problem. Follow follow I'm going back to the end. Yeah. Okay. The, okay. He saw the dragon skull. All right. Do I see anybody I know out on the street? Uh, you. I mean, you've been around. Uh, you would know wave more people. people because you're fucking old as fuck. That's just, yeah. Uh, just uh, so, yeah, I mean, I mean, that's going to be his thing. Just wave at anybody who's, who yells out Boris. Hello. 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 Hello, <laughs> Hello comrade. The Blue Water Inn. Okay. 
So gray smoke issues oh. from the chimney of this large two-story like wooden building lockers. with a stone foundation like and beavers. sagging tile roof upon which several ravens have perched. A painted wooden sign hanging above the main entrance depicts a blue waterfall. <coughs> This is the, of course, the uh, main gathering place. You are arriving around nightfall, and nine so yeah, kind of nine-ish. And this is around the time that a lot of the locals begin to gather. Yes. The innkeeper, who do I have a picture of Mr. Innkeeper? No, I do not. Fair enough. The innkeeper, his, whose name is Erwin Martikoff. If you want to make a note of that. Go. Um, it's you are. W I N is his first name. Last name is M A R T I K O B. Yes. Martikov. You ever win Martikov? Uh, spelled right. Good, good, good. He actually, of course, you're new, but you're not. I mean, you're covered in nasty blood. Um, and this roll. Oh. Hello, hello. Um, you seem to be adventurous. Like a little piece of fun. Here? Mm -hmm. New, <laughs> new to Barovia. Now, now, hello, Erwin. You're not there yet, technically. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, you duh. Guys... <laughs> duh. Well, <laughs> duh. Duh, come on. Something, by the way, something completely reasonable after we all yes. left, like, combat, is Nagri could have pressed his hesitation and cleaned all of us, like, perfectly. Coulda. Didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Nagri's being a dick today. Yep. Nagri, Nagri. Nagri. Whatever. Right, today? You... <laughs> I've only met him the one time. Yeah, the that one time he tried terrible. to kill children. <laughs> True. Upstairs. <laughs> Okay, yeah. go up the stairs. Yeah. The, um, what do I want that to be? I, I will prepare baths for you. I will have people prepare baths for you. No, where's, 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 the, where's the bar? Uh, it's, it's on the first floor. It's like straight ahead from the door. So I'm asking right in front of the door. Like, I just want to go. You I just walk straight to the bar. I need a drink. Where's you the bar? You are here. This this is a bar. This is <laughs> you're, you're talking to the bartender. Oh well. What would mean, you like to drink? I, while, what's, while I prepare the bath. What's what do you suggest? I, I'm new to this town. I like to like to know. <laughs> Sample the local uh, these cuisines. Drinks. Oh, okay. It's the fire vodka. Uh, well, we have vodka. <laughs> First of all. How the fuck do we end up in Russia? <laughs> yeah, we're in Barovia. What is it? They're, Barovia. Why they're, they're, they're gypsies. Night okay, of Sleep that's... is one silver piece. And, of course, drinks are different. Uh, depends um, on what you want. I'm going to actually put down a piece of gold on the uh -huh. table and say I will play music and uh, we're all... Oh, Everything's really? on me. That's There you go. Fantastic. I need a drink. Uh, okay, so there are a couple of different That's drinks like drink. and food. So you can get um, cooked wolf steak is one silver. Um, the inn offers a pint of purple grape mash number three wine. <laughs> <laughs> Nagri's all over that immediately. For three copper or... A pint of the superior red dragon crush wine. No, oh, that's that's Nagri's. For one silver piece. That's. Um, can he talk to it? That's the real question. <laughs> can, can he speak to it? <laughs> what? Can he speak to it? It's dragon wine. The red oh, dragon oh, crush wine. I know that song. Oh god. <laughs> I like that song. It's a good song. I love. So that so song. actually. While he's talking to me, I, I don't want to disrespectfully do this, but I kind of want to glance around and uh, see what oh. types of people oh. I might like. Um, Called women. One second. <laughs> this will actually be of uh, interest to you all. Um, he offers you wine. He says, unfortunately, our, our wine shipment is very low today. Our um, The latest delivery from the Wizard of Wine's winery the Wizard of Wine? Mm-hmm. Is overdue. Mm. Um, you are very clearly adventurers, as you are all dressed as such, carry weapons, and have recently fought something nasty. Um, or been to the worst orgy ever. If, if, <laughs> if, 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 we'll if with you that. would be so kind to find out <laughs> or tell people what, what is going on with the latest shipment, um, you can stay here for free. And eat free and drink free. As 
as long as I have wine left, I don't have very much, but... And I'm still going to... I'm actually going to put another gold piece on, on the table. Just thank you. say thank you. Yeah. We'll Thanks. pay for it. Alright. Well, in the next scene, we'll see where the night takes Eisenschmidt. <laughs> yeah, Later. I just want to get drunk and, and talk to him.